it's over. On the right over there, you can see uh, the new valleys that took over and over down. And that's the racetrack over there. We're going to make a U-turn. And a couple stops to make on this trip. This is looking up on familiar for some reason. Almost looks like last year about this time. Pulling into Tommy's here to get a car wash. Through the express lane. This can only mean one thing here. Uh, I have a uh, monthly pass at Tommy's, and why, why aren't you going? Uh, and uh, it must be the spring trip. Yes, it's spring trip 2024. About 2.30, that's pretty late for me, isn't it? But uh, let's go here through time. He's gonna all cleaned up, and why get cleaned up? Yeah, why not? Why not? Chicago and a nice Chicago dog. Take a look at this dog right here. That was a big one. We'll see how that's sitting when we pick him up. So yes, Sean will be here. We're about to pick him up in just a couple of minutes. Well, there he is. I hope we got room in the car for him. I think we do. Well, here we are. Sean is in the Jeep. And I ate it. We got a one leg to go to the cabin. We'll be there for a couple days before the other guys arrive. So let's get up there. I should have parked in that lot right there. I probably oh, wow. Yeah, I could have just walked right over to you. Yep. <clears throat> I had to pay there, though. Oh, really? Who knows how much it would have been? Yeah. This place probably a dollar. Yeah. We're just sitting in the Wegmans parking lot and Sean's in there. He's going to get a sub and we're going to split that when we get to the cabin. It'll be about 9 when we get there. I haven't had anything since about 1 this afternoon. The same with Sean. So we're going to devour a sub uh, or a hoagie, whichever you like to say. Uh, so we'll see you up at the cabin. All right. Sean's at the cabin. First time in a long time. Back. Wegmans, Danny's favorite, and yeah. chips. Uh -huh. Schlitz. <laughs> Low quality and a high quality. Southern tier. Uh, was a hazelnut stout, which is really good. Yeah. And uh, over here, little John Wayne on the TV. So, well, the camera's going off, and you know what happens, and we'll catch you in the morning. It is Wednesday morning. Yeah. And, yeah, you can hear it on the roof. It's raining, and our forecast for the next few days, rain, 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 and more rain. But, uh, you know, Sean is committed to come out, and we're heading up, so what can you really do? I uh, slept in this morning, it's about yeah, going on 8, uh, you know, Sean is on West Coast time, so it's basically still 5 in the morning for him here, but 
Uh, he was up early yesterday, so hopefully we did catch up last night and everything will be pretty good. But uh, time to get some breakfast going and Sean and I are going to see what we're going to do. And hey, if it's nothing, it's nothing. Get on to that breakfast and get that cooked up. And uh, Sean requested the old Scrapple. He hasn't had that in a long time since he's been out west. So uh, Scrapple it is for the next couple days. Noonish and still raining lightly. Uh, it's kind of been on and off all morning. Uh, haven't uh, haven't done too too much yet. Besides that nice breakfast in there, to, uh, that was that was real good. That was real good. I enjoyed it myself. I did a little work in the back there on a downspout that was all blocked up. Uh, in the downspout, it was uh, where it curves a little bit. It was all jammed with leaves and sticks and everything. So we had to take that apart, pull that off, clear that out. So that was kind of the stuff we're doing so far today. Sean is checking his gear out, fishing gear, making sure that's ready, and. Uh, I'm just about ready to put some beer on ice. Uh, didn't bring too, too much. Really have this ca about a case. There's some eclectics in there, one-offs here or there, like that one Sean had last night. That, uh, hey, hazelnut stout. I wouldn't have thought that was good, but that uh, dessert beer, that is, I'll tell you, that is some good stuff. Uh, have the Irish pub pack over here, uh, which has uh, Guinness, Harp, and uh, Irish Red in there. And that's uh, from Ireland. And they're like 14 ounce cans, so I don't know what that comes out to middle milliliter wise. And then one six pack of uh, Weisenheffer Pilsner from Germany. So uh, kind of went abroad this trip, and uh, eh, we're going to enjoy it. Uh, going to put a little bit on ice, not get too crazy. Also have some pre-made uh, old fashioned, and uh, we'll have some of those too. So, well, we're just going to see what the weather does here. Uh, Probably not going to go fishing today, maybe tomorrow. So uh, we'll, we'll see what happens this afternoon. Have a few things to do, but not, nothing much. We'll just sit around and talk a little bit and enjoying just uh, catching up. Haven't really had a chance to talk to Sean in, in a you know long-term conversation. Some on the phone, but not as long as this, certainly. So that's always good. So we'll get back in there after I get some beer on ice. And... Uh, well, we'll see. Maybe get a little lunch or get into that duck early. Either one. Just put up this stealth cam. Got this at Walmart end of the year. 40 bucks. It's the Defender camera. And uh, well, so far it's sent me pics. So that's great. And a uh, old Python lock on there. Well, that's what we're kind of doing today. Went to uh, down to Gaines. To check out our spot near the waterfall you've seen that plenty of times and there was nobody down there, there was not one guy fishing pine creek that we could see it's a little high it's not too murky right now with all the rain but i was kind of surprised that nobody was down there we also went to the tackle shack and that's a great spot to hit if you're up here and you're looking for anything really they got a lot of stuff in there so hit the tackle shack if you're looking for some kind of fishing stuff and yeah, Sean got his license printed out and bought some uh, wax worms. Went there, met a gentleman named Jake. He recognized me from the videos. Hey, Jake, how you doing? I appreciate you uh, calling me out there and uh, nice to meet you. Pleasure as always. And I appreciate, uh, you know, getting recognized and people can come up to me and you want to say hi, say hi. Uh, that's for sure. And Jake, you have a good one. Good luck fishing this week. Didn't want to put the minerals out yet just because of heavy rain coming in tomorrow. Didn't want to put them down and then have them completely wash out the first day. So figured I'd uh, we'll wait and see what the weather does. As you can see in the background, I'm actually getting a little sun. But, uh, you yeah, know, it's probably one of those things we should be out fishing now. But uh, we're going to go out, try to go out tomorrow morning. As long as the weather holds, we're going to try to get out there early tomorrow. And then tomorrow afternoon, it's supposed to get bad. So I mentioned duck. That's what we're having tonight, spatchcock duck. So we're going to be getting that ready in a, in a little bit. We're going to have a tad early dinner, 4.35 o'clock. And that's going to be good. Duck, broccoli, potatoes. And Sean's getting the broccoli ready. Stepping it up. Yep. Good to have him here. Appreciate him coming in. Make a little steam pouch here. Yep. And then put whatever seasoning you want on there. Yeah, I might even throw a tiny bit of butter in there. Yeah. There's butter, and there's all kinds of stuff up there. Right. So whatever. There's butter in the cooler, though. There's a lot of butter in the cooler. Okay. Here's our duck right here. So 
Hopefully he's not too frozen. Oh, we'll get the spatchcock in that baby. Well, here it is all done. Uh, got some seasoning on here using uh, Himalayan pink salt, black pepper, garlic on it. And uh, I even cut the ribs out. And he's, see how nice and flat he is laying like that? Hopefully we'll get a nice skin on him. So we'll go ahead and get him on the grill. Got potatoes, got that broccoli Sean got ready. And that's going to be our dinner in a little bit. You'll see it soon. Starting to do up nice. I'm going to take this, probably put it, flip it back again. But uh, this will be good. We're about 122. Of course, he's stuck. I want to get up into the 160 range. The potatoes are looking good. Broccoli, of course, don't know, but hey, broccoli is just getting steamed, so there's no, it doesn't really matter. There it is. It's looking pretty good. The breast still has a couple of degrees to go, but I'm going to cut the legs off. We're going to start with them. And... Uh, we're going to get on it here. Let those, put those breasts back on let them cook up. Potatoes and broccoli over there. So let's plate up. Well, as you can see, we're not down at the, at the creek this morning. Uh, we were set to get up about 6. I checked my phone at 5.30 or so. And it was uh, raining pretty good. And where we wanted to go, there's rain all over the place. So decided to stay in and uh, looks like we have a window today, maybe between 11 and 1. So we're just going to get some breakfast. You see the scrapple cooking in the background again over here. I had the coffee pot out, made some coffee. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and uh, get out there this afternoon. Maybe we'll see what happens around here. I still have something to do up at the, the field up there where the clover is. Uh, Got to get that camera going again. So we'll... Uh, We'll just make the best of it, uh, enjoying the time here that, that I can spend with Sean and have some good conversation with him. So that's a, that's a plus, that's for sure. And, and I appreciate him coming out here. I know it's a long trip, expensive to come out, and I appreciate it. So we're going to get on to this scrapple over here as it's cooking up. And uh, for those guys that like uh, syrup on their scrapple, I'm not a I'm not a syrup guy. I'm a scrapple. I just like it like it is. But to each his own, as they say. Well, if you like that, you go for it. That's what I say. So we'll cook this up, get some eggs, and have some breakfast. And then uh, we have all our rods and everything ready and the gear ready. So we can just jump in the car as soon as it looks like it's breaking a little bit. Well, Sean is out there getting the generator shed ready to put the generator in. Solar is great. It's quiet. No smell, no gas, no nothing. We need a little cooperation from the sun, which we're not getting this trip as as usual and what can you do so he's getting it getting it ready clean it all out get the mice stuff out of there and unfortunately those mice we'll get those banks charged back up again and then when the guys come in tonight we'll probably have that run john and i are going to give it a go here at a little bit past gains you know the spot you've been we've been here so many times and it's got the waterfall in the background you'll see that in a few minutes so there is no one here we saw one guy fishing uh we have a break of about two to three hours so we're just going to see how the fish are hitting we'll, and that's really going to depend on whether we're going to hang hang or not they're hitting great we'll stay if they're we can't get a bite within an hour well then i guess we're going to go back and i think i gotta hit dunkin donuts on the way back Ooh, so, yeah i don't where's sean out in the background then there we go so i think i think we'll uh yeah we'll have that as a as our spot to go after we uh, do a little bit of fishing so we'll see how the creek does Yeah, the water's a little high, a little cloudy, but for all the rain, it's not terrible. I haven't had any bites yet, but hey, that's fishing. And it's that nice waterfall. And uh, as I was hoping, this uh, this ledge is blocking a lot of that wind that's coming, blowing up on the cabin. I know we're a lot higher elevation, but uh, at least Sean is able to get down there and, uh, and hit with the fly rod without worrying about the... Uh, Having given blown all over the place. Uh, again, nice spot, and we'll stay here and see what happens. I'm gonna throw more casts with my crawfish here, and then uh, maybe I'll go to a, a wax worm after that, and then maybe uh, one of the 
the uh, trout magnets to uh, maybe pink something that'll show show up well in this uh, murkier water than normal. Just got back from the landing area. She swapped out the batteries in the camera, so that is working again. I, that didn't last as long as these older spy points did. That was the the flex version. There's Sean over there, backside view, where uh, he's tanking the generator up. We'll probably use the generator when the guys are here, just so we can do full power. And and that is one of those inverter quiet ones, so it's nice. Uh, even the, either the solar's best. That's second best, really. That's this inverter generators so much quieter than the regulars and cleaner energy that comes out of them. the landing area what we did we planted some clover again or put seed down i should say and the and that game camera and uh at least uh, have a chance to get a little thicker up there those deer are eating that like crazy they're eating that right down to the nub as they say no well, only a generator and then maybe uh maybe some dinner coming up Maybe I'll have Sean cook this one since it's such a difficult dinner. Sean heating up these smoked pork chops. Yep. Under, under here we got some mushrooms. mushrooms. Oh boy, that looking good. Yes, sir. A little pork, a little butter. Yep, what more more could you want? Maybe a salad on the side. Okay, All right. I'll work make on that. that yeah, I'll make that happen. <laughs> Here we go. The rest of the guys coming in Thursday evening, five minutes to ten. Weak. Absolutely weak. What's up? Let's go! You bring the gobble bull! Oh, the hell we got here. I'll tell you what <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> I'm fucking throwing this piece of shit in the trash. <laughs> Is the, are we rolling? Come on. <laughs> Where the f did that? Here. <laughs> What's up? We'll get you close. <laughs> What's up? Hey. What's up, motherfuckers? Thomas, Steve, Mike. T. What's up, homie? Player? Keeping it real. Yep. Yeah. You guys keeping it real? Oh yeah. 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 Good. Yeah. All right. Are we still rolling? Of course. Uh, hold on. Who's this? Is that John, John Travolta? No. <laughs> oh, wow. You're president. Oh. 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 oh wow. <laughs> I thought it was John Travolta in, in, uh, in uh... So, all right, no, no, we're, we're going to lose two viewers. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't want both of you anyway. Well, you get the essentials. You don't need anything else. That sounds like no fish in the water. Is that what you're saying? It's a yeah. It's rough seas? <laughs> Oh, that, water's, that water's a little rough and high. So, we, we, we so was my co-pilot <laughs> on the truck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> rough and high. Yes. And yes. We can use these. I bought them at Home Depot. Okay. There's a five by seven or four by seven or four something by six here. Uh huh. And then one for the back door. That sounds good to me. All right. All right. So if we don't use them, I can take them back. But uh, I'm want? sick of your little piece out. Little John's. Yeah. Because uh, that one almost fell and broke my neck. Oh, okay. Well, as long as you're alright with that? Oh, yeah. You're, yeah. I just, was already, trust me, I had already well, thought about replacing that thing. Uh, don't don't overstep. <laughs> OSHA no. qualified. Uh, yeah. Don't, don't overstep. Don't, overstep. don't want to yeah. overstep. Uh, by the way, because the TV is purchased by me, mm. I'll be making the first movie choice of them on this. Of course. Tomorrow. Fuck yeah, yeah. Could, could be Porky's. <laughs> Porky's? Could be Porky's? <laughs> Or Porky's 2, Porky's Revenge. Uh, we're probably gonna have to do some. Rick, I figure if we're locked in here and nothing's popping off, tomorrow exactly. could be the day. Tomorrow could be an installation day for us. Exactly. He's got cheesesteak meat too. He's got okay. all day tomorrow. So. All right. It's basic now. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. You know, okay. and I figure we, we'll line it up. We'll line it up, and if it doesn't, we'll get some boards and screw them in. Yep. We got screws, we got the drill. And I figured a yeah. nice, easy... Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll take some shit down or yep. get some rearranged. Absolutely. You guys cool with that? Yeah. Well, all I can say is you got guys <laughs> got to get your drink on. Oh, somebody somebody hey. make me a bourbon for my Well, you, you were drinking one already, right? Yes, sir. You right now. guys are here. Look at that mammoth TV, though. Hey, that, yeah, I, I'd say that's a great project for tomorrow. That's a beautiful project. 
Yeah. That is a beautiful project. I appreciate it, Mike. Yes, sir, man. You gotta bring something to the table, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? I can go for a nice old fashioned night cap. Night cap, yeah, I bet. Do it. All right. Uh, where's the? Do we have any more of this? Yeah, I should have told you to pick up the. the uh, uh, yeah, the we need the little oh, cups, but here. we got the Give, uh, regular plastic. Fill us with ice. Yeah. Oh, dude, that smells good. Allow me to get you some ice. Thanks, so. my man. Yeah, that's Thanks, my uh, man. Uh huh. That's Grandpa's chair. It smells like farts, beard, and regret. Wow. Does it regret. really say that? Yeah. Well, not that, but. <laughs> It smells great. Yeah, it smells pretty good. Yeah, so. It smells like good. Uh, right, did you so check your bunk out? Yeah. What, did you, find, did you put something in there? Possibly. Uh-uh. Usually. Oh, no. Don't say it. Mm. Don't say another one. Should I wait for TT in this? Uh, no. You don't have to. He's only getting the ice for your nightcap. Oh, I got something. I got something in here. Mm -hmm. What am I getting here? Bring it out. Bring it up. Bring it up. Oh. Yeah, bring it out. Oh, don't, don't, don't tell me. You know, you know us. You don't know tell us me. and the missus. Alright. What do we got here? Oh, I got a note. Mm hmm. Alright, do I read the note first? Oh, you can read the note, sure. Alright. All right. Hold on. See what we got. Mm hmm. Are we rolling? Oh, oh yeah. Rolling. You are aware. My old lady's trying to get me to get one of them. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Well, you ought to bring the card home, though. A Frenchie. Oh, the card is one. Dude, is this for real? Like, this is a sign. It is. Sometimes you need a sign. You're right. Right. Aww. What's this say again? Love, Andrew, and Missy? Yeah. Is that your cats? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's awesome, dude. Mm hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah, you gotta have, you'll have to send her a pick. Dude, I can't believe that's got a Frenchie on it. All right, thank you. <laughs> yeah. I love these gifts here. Yeah. You're the only one, too. Dude, that is fucking awesome. Yeah, we figured is that we, all, we figured um, we, uh, all flies? Yep, flies and, and, and lures. Dude, that's, that's, that's awesome. Sorry, yeah. didn't mean to curse. That's okay. I have the power of the edit. Thank you. I'm yeah. the only one, huh? You're the only one. Are these handmade? Yeah. Yep. Tom, this yeah. is awesome. Man. Well, I got one too. Me, no. and, me and you go. Yeah. Well, make sure you say thank you, please. Or I will please. do that. If you talk to her on the phone, yes. mm -hmm. I can say thank you. Dude, this is awesome. Thank you. And washed, ready to go, of course. Oh, dude, you know me. I don't know. Yeah. What are you? Yeah. Little, little candies? Yeah, little candy. Oh, man. Valentine's, Valentine's leftover, but still. Don't matter. Thought it's a thought. thought. thought yep. Yeah, thought it's a nice three piece. Mm. I crushed the other thing she gave me. Yeah. The <laughs> German <laughs> chop shop a lot. Yep. Thank you. I'll be using that sucker tonight. Yep. T, what this is going on? This guy here, on? Did you missed the uh, tissue paper, too. Oh, hold on. What do I get? It's all in there. Well, it's, it's more of a dick joke. <laughs> Life extension. Life Science. extension. Mm -hmm. I need that help. Somebody's <laughs> been talking to Gina, dude. <laughs> Someone's talking to her. And thank you for the card. Sure. Dude, yeah, I loved it. Send a pick. Send her Gina a pick if she's still she, up. You know, she, she's probably, oh, probably already in bed. She's probably not. No, I just spoke to her. <laughs> um, this is all positive. So I love that I got the pillowcase. Yeah, yeah G, G gets a little creeped out by my... Men's pillowcases. Oh. <laughs> she's always oh, like, fighters. yeah, she's always like, mm. <laughs> I'm like, what? It's this progressive. Is yeah, what do we want? We're woke here. Yeah, oh, like, oh. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, there we go. And there it is. And cut. What's that, Sean? All why right. Why did you well, say that when the We're going to have some more drinks. Saying, and, this is uh, why, you know. We'll see. We'll, we're probably not fishing tomorrow, so we're going to, we'll see you in the morning. what every camp needs. That sound machine is the best. Hey, it's that time. Let's get some coffee going, wake these guys up. Well, there's our before picture. Uh, that TV's coming down and coming home with me. Uh, Surprise. Uh, 
And there's Mike and brought up a couple new rugs. That'll that'll should keep really the, should, the yeah, place. should keep the leaves really. down. Yeah. Like I said, I was just talking about that. Alright, we'll get started on that. Yeah. Alright, yeah. lost the we're, washer. We're rolling now. I lost the washer. I see it. Play your foot. You got it? All right. We're cooking. Okay, he's taking parts taking parts yeah. off that probably doesn't need to be taken <laughs> off. TT on that. Yeah, I didn't do my part. I did hey, my hey. part. Oh. It's nice to see the chairman doing something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hey, remember we did the uh, the fake wall back over there? Yeah, we did the wall move a couple of years back. Yeah, no, I got no credit for that from the from the viewers. Oh no, uh, so we did a good job on that. That made a world of difference there, right there. That made this cabin so much bigger. Do we have eight? Do we have a drill? Yeah, that's why I was wondering. I was gonna re go over and get it, but you were already you into show it. People, you're working hard. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So I got, a, I got a what they like to call it, not the best work ethic. Mm. You take one over there, see if it clips underneath. Yeah, according to the picture, it's like that. All right, all the wires are hooked in, all the HDMIs, Roku. So all that's left to do is to get it up over there on the all rack. Right, Steve, you make sure that... How are we looking on that? Hmm? Yeah, and there's Mike's butt right. again. See, grab that side. We're going to spin it. We'll leave the plastic on and we get it in place. Okay. All right. I'm gonna go this way. Okay, you got cords so mm -hmm. we don't trip and fall or just Safety. stand there? Safety. Well, I had to let y'all go. Mm -hmm. Alright, take. Mm -hmm. They have to go over and then you have to snap. And then I got the end plate. What's the top part? Uh oh. Alright. Injury! Right, drill. Mm -hmm. Got steel toe boots, right? Sure. Yeah. yeah, that's on. All right, just let me see something. Let it go. Let it go. Because it can tilt. Yeah, you know, it'll tilt. You have to tighten the tilt part. If right. You want it. Once you get it. Yeah. No, but now you can tighten it so it doesn't tilt back. And you can still do your lights technically. Yeah, I might just straighten them out. Straighten them out or put them on the very top, Tom. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. That looks good, Steve. Come here. You can see like still see the top. So mm -hmm. that's good. Dude, it looks good. Mm-hmm. Pair your remote. Well, there it is. All set. Back up again. Good job. And now we got cheese steaks. Go get some shots of that. Goff was just checking the TV out here. Uh, we do like Goff, though. Oh, that's Me true. and Steve. That's true. Sorry. I don't know if I'm there we go. Cook is at it. It's his day to cook, as they say. He's got lunch and he's got a special dinner coming up. Major. Are you gonna do the reverse sear, or not just sure. straight cook, or not? not haven't sure. decided yet. Well, we'll, decided. we'll see what they are. We'll we'll save that as a surprise for later. We won't say what it is. But cheese steaks for now. Got that TV installed. It stopped raining. Looks like we have a bit of a break. I think the guys may uh, grab a cheese steak and. We might head down to the same spot that uh, Sean and I were at yesterday. That seems to be the safest, I would think. But uh, hey, they can go wherever they want to go. And uh, Sean and I will follow them down. I don't know if I'm in the, the fishing mood today. The back's kind of bothered me, but hey, that's another story for another time. They had to move indoors. The grill kept blowing out from that wind out there. It's whipping pretty good. Oh, that's smelling good. You use the season too, Steve? Yep. Nice. Lysio's rolls, of course. Decided to hit Gelton Lake. Uh, Pine Creek is a raging, muddy milkshake, I think Sean described it as. Raging chocolate milk. Uh, raging chocolate milk. Yes. And it is raging. But we did see some people rafting on it, those brave souls. Uh, but uh, Mike is down there, and uh, Steve's getting ready, and Sean is heading down too. Give go. it a go. Give it a go. You dumbasses.
And you can see it dumps right into Pine Creek down here. You can see how raging that is. I think I'll take a walk over to the bridge here and get some shots. That's Pine Creek raging over here. It's not even as chocolatey as we saw up there. I wouldn't be surprised if the lake is collecting some silt, but it's pretty tough. There was a lot of rain last night. Uh, I showed you that sound machine this morning, and hey, that, that's a link below. You know, it's like one of those things. Every cabin ought to have one of them, but it was so loud, the rain on the roof last night, that I couldn't even hear the sound machine. We have it up pretty loud to cover all the snoring. All four of us snored at once. But uh, I'll tell you, it was raining and raining and raining. But what can you do? We're having a great time anyway. We got that TV done. And hopefully this wind isn't great. It's much of a havoc on this camera. But uh, I'll get back over to those guys. I'm Joey. Joey? Yep. There's Tom, Sean, Mike, Steve, or well, you know the names. <laughs> but uh, hey, just, are you uh, just Gail? Yeah, yeah, yep. he's chief. Yep. Oh, chief? Yes. Oh, okay. nice. Yep. Newly, newly appointed. Newly appointed yep. chief? Okay. Yeah, one man show here. But, uh, oh, well, okay. Yeah, so unfortunately, I'm not the fish commission, so I can't, <laughs> can't, can't check you guys licenses. For anything. <laughs> not that you're doing anything wrong. But uh, I was telling uh, White Rook here that I drove by and I said, I recognize that guy. And it clicked with me who it was. I come back and seen everybody here. I said, Well, I got to stop. <laughs> Say hello. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So I'll uh, maybe I'll make the cut. Yeah, you and, make the uh, cut. Yeah, make the cut. We'll see. Hopefully, you guys are doing some enjoying your fishing. Yeah, it's, uh, little, a little tough. Little yeah. rough. Yeah, we've been nailed. Yeah. Waters are rough. It's raging. It's raging. Yeah. But yeah. But no, I appreciate it. <laughs> I appreciate you. Yeah, let me let me take a stab at it here. Yeah, man. Nice to meet you. Yeah, man. yeah. Thanks, Joey. Right. Yeah, man. Nice to meet you. One main show in town? Yeah. 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 I've been on since December. Okay. And I graduated the academy in November. Oh, wow. <laughs> so okay. uh, I'm uh, I'm new. Okay. I'm, I'm green. All right. Are, Are you, you a local guy? Yeah, yeah. Yep. I was born and raised here. Oh, sweet. Well, that's good. State police. Well, on the way back, we stopped at uh, the Falls area here in Gaines. And, uh, you remember what it looked like just yesterday. Here we go. Look at this. You can't see a thing in there. The falls looks good. Probably a little mud coming down through there, but look at this. This was, you could stand right there yesterday. You could stand right here. Now you can't even see. So I would say it would be even be dangerous to be out there because you wouldn't even know what you're stepping on or not. Uh, here's Sean going down, take a pic for the guys, show them what a mess this place is. But the good news is Mike bought some more Angler's Coffee, a different one, a dark roast. I'm going to go home or go to the back of the cabin, should say, make a pot. He's going to bring home a Whoopie Pie collection. So we'll have a little Whoopie Pie and coffee this afternoon. Hey, when it rains, we eat. We know that. You know, Mike was kind enough to go to the tackle shack, and I asked him maybe, hey, pick up some coffee. And boy, did he did. We've been drinking the medium roast rainbow uh, this trip, but he also got the Angler's uh, Woolly Blend, which is a dark roast, which I'm going to make right now. And hey, Chairman, I appreciate that. Uh, the coffee drinkers out there, give that a try. It's been pretty good for us. And again, it's a it's just one of those things that's supposedly by fishermen for fishermen. Well, as the coffee's cooking over there and we're waiting for Mike and Steve to get back, uh, I'm going to put up a little bit of, it's actually, this says give me freedom or give me death coin, but it's really the, uh, the normal flag. Don't tread on me flag. I think it's really give me liberty or give me death. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and put this up in the cafe. And uh, I got this one for myself. I got it from Amazon. A nice coin, you can see it's, uh, it's got a nice flag and a Liberty Bell on the on the other side, so that's kind of nice for, for being from the Philly area, that's for sure. So let me go ahead and put this up there. 
There we go, that didn't take long. Let's take a look. And there it is up with the others. So, just waiting for the coffee and some whoopie pies. All right, Cookie, you got the moon pies? Yeah. What else you got? Duck. Oh, what, you, you stopped at the store? They have, that's a, like a whole general store. They got, oh, like, okay. they got seasoning, they got meats frozen in the freezer. Mm -hmm. that, that store uh, is pretty nice. They got dude. everything. Tom, and it's oh. a temporary store right now, and they still have the Wolfie Pie section. Mm. Okay, that's what we need. Uh, is this, are we that's live? A, yeah, it is live. But morning. I can't see. Hold on. Are we yeah. live? There you go. All All right. Right. We got chocolate vanilla. Mmm. Chocolate chip vanilla chocolate cream. Chocolate chip vanilla cream. Old school, typical whoopie pie. Mm -hmm. These Mennonites know what they're doing. Yeah, that's for sure. Pumpkin chocolate oh, chip oh vanilla cream. Oh my god. All right. Might have to fight somebody for something. Chocolate <laughs> chip <laughs> peanut <laughs> butter <laughs> cream. On the ride, so. I ate the molasses one on the ride. <laughs> I ate the chocolate. <laughs> um, chocolate peanut butter cream. Mm. And then an old school. Regular. Regular, another old school. Oh. All fat free, gluten free. <laughs> <laughs> Sugar free. Sugar free. Yeah. Sugar yeah. free. Uh, what Steve, what'd you eat on the way? Huh? What'd you eat on the way? Chocolate. Yeah, and then I had the molasses banging. Mm. Banging, banging. Bang. Still in. <laughs> Steve, it's some, some tomahawks. Two tomahawks. <laughs> We're about to get some tomahawks onto the grill. Just waiting for a cook to come out with them. Starting to feel a little bit of a chill in the air. I think I'm gonna go hit the gas on the on our main tank as soon as these steaks go on. And there they are. I cleaned this all too. Right uh, yeah, I could tell it was a little. Close the thing. Mm -hmm. I'll slide it back in. Mm -hmm. There you go. Perfect. Let's take a walk over. We uh, we got our propane delivery last week or the week before, and we're back up to 100% on this. So, oh yeah, that needle is pegged. Needle is pegged at 100 up here. So we are completely full. Last year, I think we spent about $170 in gas with this. And uh, it was certainly well worth it for all the time that we've been up here. I've been up here by myself. Mike has been up here hunting season, etc. What a nice investment this has been. And I can feel that chill in the air. Even maybe you're supposed to get a couple, uh, maybe snow flurries, etc. All right, the one of them is coming off. The other one, if that one's not quite as fat as this one, this needs a couple extra minutes. It's only at 97 degrees for those Pittsburgh shear types. Go there ahead. will be blood. Thomas, are you double checking these temps? The other one's at about 122, which is a good, good temp. So we're going to let them rest. Well, I should say Steve. I don't want to take any credit here. And pull that one off. We got fingerling potatoes in there and asparagus is in the other tin foil. So Steve will bring those back in. Let them rest, right, Steve O? You got it. Hold on a sec. Oh, that is a pick. That's a nice pick right there before you cut. Oh, yeah. You're, you're right about that. The, that's the cut. Go ahead. Back. Keep going. Keep going. Fine. We'll get you. Right, and this that's is the, the butter. Yeah. yeah, that's the uh, cavalry. This plate for something. 
I think it was originally for the asparagus. What we have with the potatoes? What's the sauce? Uh, ranch. Ranch. Okay. Mm. First impression of the potatoes? Slamming. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what the hell that More potatoes? Shit. Yeah, I'll take another one. Ooh, these are good. Nice glaze on them, Steve. Big in it. Crosshatch grill mark. Points. Bonus points. Mm -hmm. Bonus points. Mm -hmm. GT's recognizing. Mm hmm. I give him a, I got to hit him on the cut. Holy he's shit. Rushing, he's rushing. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll knock you on the cut, Steve. You're going to work on your cut a little bit. No more than a, oh. no more than a half inch thick. Mm-hmm. That tastes good. Yeah. They were hot. Okay. You want more than that? No, I'm good. <coughs> Sean, I don't know. And Tom, maybe I like a thick cut. Yeah. Trying to do a little bit of both. Mm, oh my god. There's some thinner ones in there. That is rendered well, but it's not overdone. Alright, well I think Steve did a great job. And uh, we're gonna turn it off and eat as always. I think you're back. Yeah. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And you think you're back. Doesn't matter what I think. Okay. It only matters what they think. I'm sure they think you're back. I think you're back. Mm -hmm. Here you go, I mean, you're coming in hot, you're taking chances. Mm -hmm. I'm more concerned with you guys because you're the one eating it. No, now I know he's. Yeah, now, now I know he's, he's selling he's, us bullshit. Yeah, he's you know what? overstepping now. That's excellent. Yeah. Nice work. Very good. Well, here we are, early Saturday morning. It's about 35 degrees. Some very light snow showers coming down. Might get some more today. Uh, not sure what we're going to do. Uh, if those guys want to try to do some fishing, I think some of the rain has moved down. But you saw the uh, you saw the Pine Creek yesterday. And it was in terrible shape. So I'm not sure what they're going to want to do. We'll play it by ear. Let them decide. Uh, still want to maybe get some minerals out over here at their spot or mineral pit. No, they don't be on the agenda but that won't take too long uh, just had that great dinner last night from steve and watched some uh, movies and uh, watched the first episode of fallout on amazon prime uh, sean and i uh, played the the game and it looks like the series is sticking to the game fairly well and uh we'll we'll see what happens of course that's the first episode well we'll see where that goes and uh i'll probably watch some more of that at home but for right now, whew, it's a chilly Saturday morning. Uh, it's supposed to get up to like 68 tomorrow, so it's 47 high today, 68 tomorrow. Maybe some thunderstorm. So we are just in a bad weather situation this trip, and uh, hey, that happens. But we're making the best of it and having a lot of laughs. And you know what? It's cold, and I got some coffee going. I'm getting back inside, get some hot coffee. Hey, Mike and Sean took a walk up to the point, and what I'm going to do here, I have a uh, Lucky Buck bucket, the bucket of that uh, Jurassic Rock, and an empty Lucky Buck. I'm just going to do a little mixture of both, head over to our mineral pit, put some out, then I'm going to come back, mix some more, head up to the landing area and get a get something going up there. I'm going to mix that up and we'll, we'll get up there and, and dump that out and I'm sure those deer will be in right away. I'm doing it here since it's not too windy next to the cabin here. But This is more, this looks more like fine and rock salt together. Get my magic wand. I want to get to about a three quarter bucket or so. Because we'll be back putting more out. It's part of a mineral rock that uh, Mike had put out a couple, about three, four weeks ago. 
our normal stump. I'll have to pick a new one one of these days. And uh, he'll probably go ahead and put it over here or so. You know the drill. And one down, one to go. Good apple smell, that's for sure, the mixture of both. One's supposed to be like spiced apple and then a the regular apple from Lucky Book. As I was walking back, I saw a lot of deer droppings. So the one that's a good good sign it means that the area is holding the deer, which is good. Uh, it's nice to see. Back up in the landing area here, and uh, Sean and I planted some clover, or I should say, spread some seed. Anyway, I shouldn't say plant it. It was just spreading on the surface. <coughs> but uh, have a stump right here. Uh, Put some down. There's a camera right on that tree. So it's just kind of really lucky buck this stump up a little bit uh, right in front of the camera area and then our clover. You know, the road is there, which hey, whatever. But uh, hey, it, looks, it looks nice and green anyway. I'm hopeful when I get back up here the next time it's going to look a little bit lusher. Probably get some more lime and fertilizer down also. I know it's a little close to the clover and it's going to kill some due to the salt content, but as long as it doesn't spread way far, which I don't think it's going to do, because it's going to, if anything, flow down this way or flow back over here. <sighs> yeah, it's, a, it's a nice spot, and again, this is the clover from last year that I planted uh, in March, early March. And uh, I can only see it getting better and better for at least a few years. You know, for, I'm hoping four or five years out of this, four or more anyway. And if we keep putting seed down occasionally, uh, it should just help keep uh, new, new stuff coming up. Well, I'm going to get back to the cabin, get some of that uh, salt stuff put away, and uh, hopefully Mike and Sean are enjoying themselves up to the point. Well, at least we didn't officially get rained on. Just a little hail. How are you? Hi, guys. Hey, Tony. All right. Doing great. Yeah. Doing great? What's Good. happening? Not too much. You don't mind the camera, do you? Nope. Hey, no. right. okay, Tony. How are you? Pretty good. How are you? Good to Good. see you, man. See you. See you. How are you? Well, yeah, for the weekend? Yeah, well, we were trying to do some fishing, but that's not mm. kind of possible right now. Yeah, the water's really high. Oh, it's uh, high and it was muddy as I couldn't see anything. Yeah. So. No luck, right? No you luck. know, somebody messaged the Tony Oh, you say yeah, someone yeah. here? Well, well he's I, from Ohio, Northeast Ohio. He said, is this Tony's I have always seen on White Book 85's YouTube videos? I said, yes it is, because it looks like I'm taking a road trip this summer. I live in Northeast Ohio. I said, sounds great. Make sure you say hi. Okay. Well, there you go. So, yeah. Yep. You can tell because them you're of just you. today. That's funny. Everything going pretty good though, Tony? Not bad at all. Not bad? You staying busy? Yes, sir. That's good. That's good. Some days look too busy. Well, uh, yeah, I can imagine. Well, well, hopefully we sent a couple, couple people Thank your you. way. Yeah, we we'll appreciate it. How many pizzas you got? Two pizzas and Would and you like some plates, napkins? No, we got all that up at the shop. Yeah, we, yeah, we got it. Go with that? Okay. Nice, Tony. Perfect. Thank you. Oh, thank you guys. 
Got this mm. back from Tony's. Early dinner, just my time. Pepperoni, sausage, cheesesteak, stromboli, three orders of wings, hot, mild, and butter garlic. And uh, Mike and Steve are just getting ready to go back down, down state again. Uh, Sean and I are going to check the weather. There's a big cloud up near uh, Buffalo heading this way. So we're going to see what that's direction that's going to do. And if not, I mean, we'll get our stuff out and do a little fishing. If not, maybe a little bit later. If it doesn't rain hard and uh, head into town for some deep, but it was hey, it was very good. Had a great time with the guys. But it's time for them to head back. Big year this year. Me and Cook turning 50 years old. Me in September, Stefan in November. If you guys would like to send gifts, mm. liquor, clothes, shoes, what else? Hair. Hats. Hats. So. Any, whatever you guys want to send, reach out to Tom. We'll give you the P.O. box. Yeah. All right. Send us. Send a little send, something. Send us a little. You know? Fit, you know. You don't turn 50 every day. No, you don't. Mm. So you know, if you guys want to send something, you know, we're not going to turn anything down. No. Uh -uh. So doesn't matter what it is. Husky here. Oh, very husky. Yeah. But 36. Oh, uh, hold on though. Shoe size here. Shirt mm. size here. <laughs> Condom size. <laughs> there. Over there. Yeah. <laughs> Trojan minis, they're called. All so. right. Hey, well, good seeing you guys. Yeah, thanks man. for the. Hey, thanks for the good cook, cook. Yeah, yeah he's back, dude. Yeah, he's, he's back. Been, he is freaking back, man. Yeah. Got anything? Nah, he's ready to go. He's ready for a nap. See you guys. See you boys. Alrighty. Late. Mike and Steve left about uh, an hour ago, hour and a half. Uh, in that time, there was a uh, thunder, thunder cloud that came over and uh, a lot of th thunder, lightning, and uh, got things a little bit wet. And now the sun is out again, as you can see. So uh, Sean and I are waiting, uh, and we're going to go ahead and, and hit the falls area again and see, if, see how that is as far as water level and the color of the water and things like that, just to get a chance to... They get out there and fish one more time before we have to take off tomorrow. So that's the plan. And basically what we're doing right now is kind of just waiting for it to warm up a bit. It's like almost 50, but it's supposed to go up into the low 60s. So we thought uh, a little bit later would be a better chance, chance for a bug hatch. And Sean can try to match the hatch with the fly rod. So that's kind of what we're thinking. They did some cleaning up in there, boring stuff. You don't need to see any us putting things away and sorting things out, etc., etc. That's Dullsville. But uh, one other thing I just wanted to, uh, as I do in my spring trip videos for our George, uh, gave him his happy birthday. Just wanted to do that for our new cats, Andrew and Missy, who just had their birthdays uh, at the end of March. So I just wanted to wish those two uh, their first birthday for both of them. And uh, they've been working out well. They're George was a complete gentleman. Uh, he didn't jump on things. He didn't make a mess and he didn't get in trouble. Uh, these two do a little bit. Uh, they're not quite the, the George personality, but uh, Andrew and Missy are, are doing fine. And uh, there's some shots of them and uh, we're enjoying having them and, and uh, they're, they're putting something in our, our lives, you know, giving something back. Uh, you know, we gave something to them and they're, and they're returning the favor. So on these spring trips, I'll be saying happy birthday to Andrew and Missy. Well, you may have seen that we didn't have the flags out this trip. Uh, I just got the go, uh, don't tread on me flag, uh, but we haven't had them out just because we didn't want them to get wet and uh, in this wind and get messed up and then have the chance of having to put them away wet into the shed when we leave uh, because we are getting some more uh, rain tonight. Uh, didn't want to put them away and get mold on them, etc. So that's why we didn't have the flags out. And you know, Well, when I'm back, I'm sure I will again. Uh, just wanted to mention last time, uh, during uh, I think my solo piece, uh, I showed that this really, really nice don't tread on me flag. And this is... I'll tell you, this is a super flag right here. You're interested in getting one. This is the one to get. Links below, but that's really not the reason why 
uh, I wanted to talk about it just for a minute. Uh, I said something about that I'm not a Republican, I'm not a Democrat, uh, I don't fit into either category, uh, um, I'm really no party, I'm not an independent. But I, and I think that uh, kind of gave you the impression that maybe I was just, I ignored everything, and I do not. I keep my uh, ear to the ground, as they say, and uh, I, I am in tune with what's happening. So uh, don't think that uh, I'm just, because I said I'm not a party representative, uh, that, I, that I don't know what's going on. And I, I certainly do, and I, I certainly keep track of it. And uh, my, my alter ego, which is on Twitter, if you, if you follow me there, you'll see that, uh, and I can be pretty nasty on there, and downright nasty. And I don't bring it to YouTube, but uh, Twitter, hey, anything goes, or X, whatever you want to call it. It's kind of a stupid name, but whatever. I'm not a billionaire, it's not my choice. And one other thing, if you ever think I voted for a Biden in Delaware, just because I live in Delaware, and he's from there, you're sadly mistaken. I would never voted for him one time ever. He was a complete jerk off douchebag from the day that I moved there. And I would never support him, never will support him. So it's a little rough, but uh, you know, I just wanted to make sure you knew that I'm just not, uh, just not ignoring things. And so yeah, hopefully you didn't. Well, you can hear and see the water behind me. It is high. It is clearing. So we are going to go ahead and, uh, and give it a go for however long we feel like we can do. And if I kind of tap out, I got a chair here. I can sit down and watch Sean for a while. So uh, we'll just go in and get some lines wet and uh, see what happens. I think we have a goal of one fish each. One. One. So that's our goal. Anything, any, anything else will be a bonus. So let's see what happens. Well, we're giving it a try, but not ideal conditions, as they would say. Uh, we're, if it didn't rain for another three days, I think it would be back to manageable conditions here. It's really, really high, rough, and uh, I put a lot of weight on that spinner. And I'm still barely touching the bottom. No, it's just it's just tough with all the all the water in there. And then again, the, it is a little murky. Murky. I was trying to use a bright bait to kind of let them see it, but uh, huh. I didn't get anything. And I know Sean hasn't gotten anything yet. So we'll see how much longer we stay. And I think the burning barrel awaits us. Plenty there still. It's about 7.30 on Monday morning. Sean and I are going to load up the Jeep and take off. Have to get him to Wilkes-Barre Airport. It takes about three hours plus to get there. Make a few stops along the way. And then home again. The trip started on the day I picked Sean up. It was a very beautiful day. And it's going to be a great day today here too. No rain. Nice and sunny. And of course we have to get going. But what can you do? It's just... Just luck of the draw for the weather happens to everybody, so what can you do? Well, we'll get back to the cabin clean up a little bit, and then we'll we'll see a little bit later. This, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. We're at the gate now. We're going to lock the gate up behind us and uh, go down to the town. I'm going to get a quick pre-wash of the Jeep before I take it down to Tommy's and uh, get some coffee and maybe a sandwich at Dunkin' Donuts. So that's our plan this morning. Well, it was a good trip. It was certainly, it couldn't have rained more. 
and unfortunately all that rain uh, wrecked our fishing. So, but uh, we had some fun. Hey, got a new uh, TV in there. Watch some TV. Watch some Fallout. We did watch some more episodes of that that Sean and I enjoyed. I think a little bit more than than Mike and Steve, just because we know all the little everything about the uh, the game and how it translates onto the show. I, I I particularly like it. As a matter of fact, I'm probably going to go back and rewatch it uh, just to make sure I, I picked everything up. You know, when the, we're sitting around talking with the guys, it's a, sometimes it's a little bit tougher to to get all that stuff. So I'll, I'll just kind of zone in on it and uh, and uh, check that out. We got about two more episodes to watch, I think. That's it, right? Can we yeah, get we made it to six, six out of eight. Uh -huh. so. Well, I enjoyed having Sean here, and I appreciate him flying in all the way from the other side of the country again. And uh, not sure if he's going to make the October trip down to uh, North Carolina. But if not, he will be here for hunting season. He's looking forward to, to yep. coming up for hunting season and having a good time with the guys. And let's bag a deer this year, huh? Yes. No, no fish, so we'll bag a deer instead. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, absolutely. Well, White Rock 85, the chairman, Camp Cook, and... Syntax 77. All right. We'll catch you next time.